Hey guys, so today I have my updated makeup collection and I have been like really just, um, I don't know what to say, like just not ready to do this just because I felt like people would think I'm bragging and I'm really not trying to brag. I'm only doing this to show you how like in a month a makeup collection can grow because I have done a previous makeup collection video and it was so much smaller than what I have now. And I just want to show you guys really bad because I think I have done a great job on keeping up on my collection. I, I haven't let it go and I haven't been like, you know, I'm done. I've been like on top of it and I've been like, yeah, come on, let's do this because this is what I love to do. I really, I got into collecting makeup about a month ago and like over a month my collection just grew like crazy. And I wanted to show you guys like my whole area and just how I organize and stuff like that. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 drawers, one is a like bigger one that I keep my palettes in, most of them. Um, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started with my video and um, I'm sorry if the camera's shaky, it's kind of really hard for me to record but I will definitely try my best and I hope you enjoy so let's get started. Okay so pretty much I'm going to show you just like from back here. This is my like background I use, I just use like a curtain. And then I have like my bed and it's over here. I can't see that. Anyways, I have this um mirror. Just like my whole body. And then here's my chair. Pretty awesome, huh? No, it's just a regular old chair. There's a granite carpet, yeah. Um, I have another curtain down there because I thought this one here might be um too sheer, but it wasn't, so that's good. Right here I have my drawer, then I just keep like this little bucket in. I have a staple gun. Makeup bags, I have magazines, I have hair clips, I have a bunch of stuff in here. I have CDs, I have nail polish cleaner, I have a book, I have my hot iron, even though you're not supposed to store it that way, but I do anyway. I have paint. Hmm. Interesting, huh? Yeah, no, just a bunch of random stuff. And down here's like my little trash box, and I have something covered up because I don't want you guys to see it. This might be offensive, but anyways, down there again, it's just pretty much boring. But, I mean, that's not interesting. My makeup collection is interesting. So, I'm going to start over here with this drawer, these drawers. Okay, so up here, I have my other camera. I have some skinny cow candies. And then on this top drawer, I just have pretty much all my Halloween stuff. Like, I have fake blood. I have, like, wax sticks. I have eyeliner. I have a spongy thingy. I have some glitter glue right here that I haven't used yet, but... I think I'm going to use this in another Halloween tutorial. Let me know if you guys like to see something with glitter glue. So this one's pretty, you know, this one's pretty random and it's not really a drawer that I use too much, only for Halloween and I'll usually throw out this stuff and I just got this drawer recently because, you know, Halloween is coming up. So yeah. In this drawer I have all my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils and I do have every shade. If there's a new one that's coming out, oh my gosh, I have to get it because I love these so much. Yes, I love this drawer. This drawer is one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, I love the next Jumbo Eye Pencils. Look at that one. It's all purple. Probably doesn't look purple on the camera. But anyways, I love these. These are the next Jumbo Eye Pencils and I bought all of them off of Amazon. I will link that below if you guys want to check that out. In this drawer, I have all my NYX pigments, and like I have the Glitter Mania pigments, like that. And I have the matte pigments. Pigments. Um, these are just like really loose, shimmery, summer shimmery powders, like this one. This is really glittery. So yeah. Um, I love these pigments a lot, especially for Halloween tutorials as well, because they're just so many pretty colors and stuff like that, and I love the glitter ones so much. They're all really great pigments. Um, yeah, this drawer's kind of messy because I haven't organized it yet. Anyways, I'm sorry if you hear the TV in the background too, it's kind of loud. So it's in the living room too. Okay, anyways. Um, that's that drawer. In this drawer, I have all my mascaras, and I'm sure before my last video you saw that my mascaras, I had like four, and now I have a bunch more. I really, I've been getting into mascaras lately, and I just love them all, and this is just like, um, pretty much random mascaras that I'll go buy, and I just see them, I'm like, oh, I want to try those, I, I've heard good things about them, like, this one here was in my favorites video, oh, the Lash Ross Royal, oh, that stuff's amazing. 
Anyways, I do love all my mascaras, and I've been really getting into them, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for that drawer. Nothing fancy. Mm. In this drawer, I have all my eyeliners, um, my glitter liners, just, but I have some lip, a lip liner, I think. I have these like, little eyeshadows that I don't use. I should throw those away. I have this Mac Eyes liquid eyeliner, um, just a bunch of random stuff pretty much. I have these like Urban Decay glitter liners. Yeah, I don't really, nothing special about this drawer either. I am really into, um, well not that much. I'm not sure what it is, but it's my, it's one of my Urban Decay glide on pencils. I'm just, I'm in love with it. Oh, it's right here. It's in Whiskey. This was in my, my favorite video also. And this is a 24 7 glide on pencil. Oh, that's amazing as well. So that's a favorite drawer. So this is my face drawer, and um, I love the face stuff. I really do. It's really great stuff. And um, I just pretty much have like a lot of foundations and a few blushes. Nothing fancy. I have like stuff to set your foundation, a sheer cover mineral powder. And these are like the sample sizes, um, but I have the full size in my other drawer. And then I have like a Georgiana blush. Yeah, I just have a bunch of my um, e.l.f. tinted moisturizer, which I really like. It smells good too, so I don't know. Anyways, that's pretty much just my face drawer. Nothing fancy. Um, I did get more products than I had before, but yeah, this drawer has always been pretty filled. So I guess I'll show you my like perfumes and lotions. So I have this Kim Kardashian perfume. This is like legit. Wow, this smells so good. I haven't worn it lately, but I do love it a lot. Oh my gosh, do you hear that was paper bags in the background? Those are my cats. I should do a video dedicated to my cats. Anyways, I have my Paris Hilton perfume, which is actually um not legit. That's from the dollar store, but it still smells so good. And it's a like their version of it, and this is the Britney Spears Circus for him, and that's their version also from the dollar store. But I still love the scent. It just doesn't stay on that long, but I still love it. This is my Country Girl lotion, my Forever Sunshine lotion, and my Secret Wonderland lotion from Bath and Body Works. I love those three, and I don't really wear lotion, but those three I do, I promise, I do wear them. Maybe not as much lately, but you know. My skin's pretty moisturized in the fall for some reason, but anyways, that's pretty much it for that. Um, oh, trying not to get the light. Um, right here I have my like my jewelry stand, and this just has all my necklaces from Forever 21. It's a really cute um, Tita kind of thing. I have a ring there from Sally's. Um, necklaces and you know, pretty random. Got a bracelet around it. I couldn't dress it up to like where it looked like I had clothes on. And then here I have my lamp. Don't want to blind you guys. Nail polish. I have been getting into nail polish so much. Oh, and I have these three Sally Hansen ones. I have um, Purple Potion, um, Fuchsia Power, and Celeb City, I think. Yeah. Um, then I have all my OPI nail polishes. And wow, these are amazing. I have never had OPI. And. These, let me tell you, these are awesome, and I'm so glad I purchased them, and it cost me quite a bit, but it was so worth the money, and I really, really, really love these so much. So, these are great nail polishes, and I really like these a lot, and I recommend these if you're looking for a good nail polish, even though they are a little pricey, but I'm sure you can find them online somewhere, or if not online, I got these at a beauty salon here in my local Walmart. There's a beauty salon. It's actually a hair salon, but they sell OPI. And also another store here has OPI, and it's called Alco. I don't know if you guys have one, but yeah, they only have like two OPI things. But anyways, I have a Revlon nail polish and this Color Workshop one that I don't like, but I still have it because it's in my chair. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much like all my perfume scents and you know, colorful. Then I have a water bottle. Yeah. Anyways, up here I have my EOS A lip balm, I have a pencil, line, like an eyeliner sharpener, I have this other eyeliner sharpener, this little inspirational poster that says, believe in your dreams. I have this um, palette that has eyes, lips, and some face stuff in it, but this is um, from Claire's, and actually it's really good quality, so I really like that. It was like, um, 
I don't know how much it was. I think it was like 15 but I got it for half off because they were having a sale. And I have some like false lash glue left over from my false eyelashes. I'm never buying that again. <laughs> and I have a nickel. Yeah. <laughs> So in this top drawer, it's just all my eyeshadows. I don't have that many, like, loose eyeshadows. Like, individual ones, like these. Those are, like, the only two individual ones, and I have this one. But all the rest of them are in palettes, and it's mainly where I use them. So I have some primer potion, um, a little mini one. I have this new, like, L'Oreal quad thing, and these aren't very pigmented, but they're really cool still. I like the white one a lot, as for, like, a brow bone highlight. Anyways, um, I have this Urban Decay, like, really sparkly eyeshadow, and that's pretty much it. Nothing new, really, in this drawer. It's, it's just the same old. Okay, so this is my lip drawer, and I have got a few new products. Um, like, I got this hard candy lip gloss. It's all shimmery, and it's the, from the Glossaholic line, and it's called, um, Fairy? Yeah, Fairy. It's in a coral berry. This wet and wild flip stain. Um, I have pretty much that's it. <laughs> I don't really know what else that's new in there, but I know this one's starting to get fuller, and I'm like, I like that because I want to get in the lip stuff. Anyways, yeah, that's that drawer. Okay, so in this drawer, I have all my brushes. And last time in my other video, I have like three brush, three brushes. Um, wow, I can't believe I've gotten so many more. I feel like. I just have a, a lot more, I guess. I have a stippling brush, and I have, like, I don't know, I guess I just went crazy with brushes, and I didn't even know it. Because a lot of the things that I buy come with brushes, like, um, the Urban Decay Naked Palette, my, like, sheer cover one, came with this all-over face brush, and, yeah, I purchased a lot of them, too, like, these pink ones here with the bows on them. I got from Claire's, and these are cute. And they work really well. And then I got this from the dollar store. Nothing. I don't really have any top of line brands, but I have Sheer Cover, and I guess it's like my most top of line one. And Sonia Kashuk. Kashuk. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that drawer. <laughs> Over here, I just have like this little thing that I used to keep my brushes in. I have um some tape, some scissors, a palette that I kind of broke the top off of magazine, my yearbook, and I have like these two palettes on top. I don't know if I mentioned that. Right here I have all my hand sanitizers. Oop. I have a bunch. And I really want to go back to Bath and Body Works and get a bunch more because I'm addicted to them. I want to try the peppermint, like twisted peppermint. Oh my gosh, I'm dying to get that one. But anyways, yes, that's pretty much it for that. Anyways, back to the collection. In this drawer I have a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh. I guess I'll just start emptying it. I have some Burt's Bee, Burt's, nah, Burt's Bees, sorry, can't talk. Burt's Bees makeup removers. I've used, oh, almost all of them. I have some Garnier makeup removers. I have the Urban Decay Roller Girl Palette. Some of these, ugh, nasty, generic makeup removers. So gross. I hate those. I don't even know I have them. <laughs> I have the Urban Decay Naked Palette, Urban Decay Eco-Friendly Palette, Urban Decay 15th Anniversary Palette, ah, oh, this random eyeliner. And then in here I have all my, like, sheer cover stuff. I have my, like, mini Kabuki brush, which I need to, like, put somewhere else. And then I have, like, my face primer. I have a bronzer and two mineral foundations and a concealer. Which are amazing. Just saying. I love my sheer cover so that's usually what I wear for foundation and junk. But anyways, I'm gonna put that all back. Cats are fighting. <laughs> <laughs>